In today's Entertainment City, we're telling you why you should be keeping an eye out for a new Taylor Swift album. But first, serious legal drama for two stars. First up, Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey has been slapped with another wrongful death lawsuit in connection with his former girlfriend's suicide. This time, it's Catriona White's mother suing the comedian, blaming him for the makeup artist's 2015 death and claiming he gave her several STDs without warning her he had them. Among her accusations, the woman alleges Carrey gave White herpes 1 and 2 and chlamydia and knowingly provided her with the prescription drugs she used to overdose. Carrey's lawyer is calling this latest lawsuit ridiculous and an attempt to capitalize on White's suicide. He's accusing White's estranged husband of the same thing after he filed a wrongful death lawsuit against Carrie, too. Kim Kardashian West is fighting mad about reports she faked her October 3rd Paris robbery, so much so she's suing. The reality star has brought a libel suit against Mediatakeout.com, saying she was wrongly portrayed as a liar and thief. She's seeking unspecified damages. As we reported, Kardashian was robbed at gunpoint of $10 million worth of jewelry. In her lawsuit, she says she was victimized a second time hours later when the website reported she had faked the robbery and lied about the assault. Meanwhile, the star's younger sister, Chloe, spoke out about her sister's ordeal on the Ellen DeGeneres show. She's not doing that well. I mean, it's incredibly traumatic what happened to her. I think it's just a wake-up call to make a lot of life adjustments. And to not share as much anymore. Yeah, yeah I think in that aspect. Moving on to someone Kardashian has made a bit of an enemy out of this year, Taylor Swift. But don't worry, we have no new Kim Kanye Taylor drama to report. Instead, we have reason to believe we should be watching out for a new album from Swift this month. At least according to multiple internet theories, drawing on the following facts. All right, Swift has music gigs lined up for the first time since her tour ended almost a year ago, including one later this month. Since it's been two years since her last album, one would assume she needs new music to perform. Also, Swift has dropped four of her five albums in October. She also has a history of releasing albums every two years. And it's positive publicity, which Swift could use following a year of two high-profile breakups and a surprisingly nasty twist in her feud with Kanye West. Apparently, the exact date to watch for is October 23rd. Time will tell. Let's do the time warp again. The Rocky Horror Picture Show is back in a big way with a TV reboot. This is going to be the television event of the fall. Oh, How exciting! Yes, it is. It's so exciting. It's coming out the best time of the year where everybody's just like in the mood to dress up. Have a good time, and that's the essence of Rocky Horror Picture Show. Oh, Rocky! It's, it's an opportunity to to grace the the current generation with such an amazing cult classic, such as the, you know Rocky Horror, and and I really think people are going to love it as much as we love creating it together. <laughs> oh no! The Rocky Horror Picture Show airs right here on City next Thursday. Tune in next week for more inside scoops from the cast. And as always, get your entertainment news first in the morning right here and anytime on Twitter at Ent City.